Today, we're gonna to talk to you about caring for a freshly laid lawn. First things first, make sure you get the water on it as soon as you're done. If you don't, it'll dry out, turn brown, and start to look pretty average. If you're laying a larger lawn on a particularly warm day, don't wait until the end to put the water on. Once you've done a section, get the sprinkler on that straight away, and then finish the rest of the job. Having said that, to preserve water is really important, so make sure you use a water tank first if you've got one. When finished, make sure you water thoroughly, soaking in well each square metre before moving on to the next section. It's important the soil surface stays moist until the roots of the new turf has established. We recommend watering morning and afternoon every day for at least the first two to three weeks. The amount of water your lawn will need will depend on local conditions. A good idea is to leave a wet towel out on the lawn for the first few days. When the towel dries out, your lawn will immediately need more water. Water is critical for the next few days. Don't forget to move the towel around so you don't do any damage to the new turf. If you notice that the pieces of turf are starting to dry out on the very edge, don't be alarmed. This is perfectly normal for a new lawn trying to establish. It's important to water your lawn regularly for at least the first six weeks or until it has been mown a couple of times because by this time you will know it's well established. Remember, less frequent, deeper waterings are best because it allows the roots to go down deeper, further drought proofing your lawn. This will mean that your lawn won't require irrigating as frequently, which will save you time and money, but most importantly, water, which is much better for the environment and very important in times of drought. The water you invest now is water you will save in the future. Now after two or three weeks, you can check if your lawn has established. To do this, simply pull at a corner of one of the pieces. If it holds well, it's established. If the corner comes up in your hand, it needs a little more time. This is a good way to tell if your lawn is ready for a mow. Now this can take between one week or a couple of months depending on the variety, the climate and the time of year. After the turf has established, you can back your watering off to once every couple of days. After about six weeks or a couple of mows, your lawn should be kicking on quite nicely. This is a good time to give it a feed with a slow release granular fertiliser. Don't forget when it comes to watering to always comply with local water restrictions. 